thank you so much for being here. You know, let's go ahead and introduce yourself and let everyone know who yeah. you are, what region you're coming from, yeah. and of course, you know, your 30 second pitch. Yeah, cool. So I'm Josh Kruger, and I'm from St. Louis, Missouri, which is the Midwest region for Nifty. Um, and my business is called Modern Media. Essentially, it's just a marketing agency that uh, works with small uh, content creators from lower income communities that want to make a career in the industry. So we employ those content creators and then we work with smaller businesses in the same sort of communities. So we sort of kill two birds with one stone by doing that. That is incredible and it really is. For those of you who are relatively new to Nifty, Nifty again is a network for teaching entrepreneurship and what we really are trying to do is create the next generation of leaders, really empower our young entrepreneurs with the aspect of taking their business from ideation to execution and so not only are we really empowering to start your own business yeah. but to have that entrepreneurial mindset and more importantly you know to know these key aspects of what it really is to start your business and build a community and so with that you already come with a great aspect of like followers and a lot of people. Uh, what inspired to actually start your business? Because Nifty was kind of like a class. Nifty was more of, you know, homework and an aspect. Yeah. But you had already started this, right? This had happened before Nifty? Yeah, yeah. So uh, I started making videos when I was like 10 years old. Um, I love just filming, editing, and posting and showing people like things that I create. And overall, just more broad I just love creating like it's just one of my favorite things in the world to do is specifically the video aspect though um, and so yeah it's been nine years uh, since I started creating videos and I started doing you know of course social media YouTube Instagram things like that and that has been something I'm so passionate about I've been creating YouTube videos for two and a half years now consistently and I've met so many amazing people and the community is great um, just like it is with Nifty and Basically, in, whenever I started Nifty, I did Nifty for two years, uh, the, the program for two years, and the second year in senior year, probably October-ish, um, that's when I started coming up with the ideas for modern media. Um, before that, I was thinking about building a skate park or making a clothing brand, but there was nothing that really stuck out to me of something that I can do right now and just start start you know creating right away. Um, I was scrolling on Instagram, and I saw... Uh, an old friend of mine who started a media agency basically and I said why can't I do that mm -hmm. so I saw that and I just loved the way he was doing it but of course I wanted to do it myself so I started thinking about how I could do it and long story short I'm at the point where I am now and of course we came up with the couple ideas of working with content creators like I am myself and also smaller businesses and things like that that so, is in Incredible. And for those of you who are trying to do the math, he's 19, y'all. He's 19. <laughs> it's crazy the impact that really you've had and the way that you're so creative. And to me, the hardest thing is actually making content. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I think that it comes to a point where I'm like, oh my God, what else can I do? And yeah. so it gets so hard to constantly and like the deadlines and deliverables and stuff like that. But you're killing it. You're doing such a great job. Um, Thank you. Apart from like that, you know, like Nifty is more than just a class. It's more than just homework. We really are yeah. trying to like build a community. Yeah. Um, and so what has been the biggest impact that Nifty has had, you know, in your yeah. life? Whether that is, you know, through your entrepreneurship journey or whether it is just like a personal aspect of it. Like what has really been the biggest takeaway? Yeah, the, the biggest thing that Nifty has taught me is just to, one, just seek opportunities. You can't go through life just like letting opportunities come to you. It just you doesn't. See, it taking just risks. Doesn't. That's one of our pillars. Exactly. T taking <laughs> risks and opportunity, looking for opportunities, is like the two biggest things for me because um, it also has to do with my teacher back in St. Louis, uh, Mr. Mitchell. He taught me so much along with Nifty. Shout was, out to Mr. Mitchell. Shout out to Mr. Mitchell, <laughs> the best teacher I've ever had. But um, those two things together just kind of culminated in me to like. I just go out of my way to find things and to like travel and, and introduce myself to people. There are so many situations that I've been in, in in just, you know, the past two years where if I hadn't gone out of my comfort zone to like introduce myself to somebody or take one trip to go to an opportunity that I was scared to do or something like that, um, those so many situations like that that if I wouldn't have taken those opportunities or those risks. I wouldn't have been close to who I am today. And uh, the second thing is just, of course, teaching me how business works.
worked. <laughs> like, I had no clue how money worked, how business, anything worked. And um, it actually, before Nifty, I didn't know that I was really passionate about business and how it works. And now I love it. And even with content creation on YouTube specifically, I look in the business aspect um, of YouTube more than like some other content creators yeah. that I know. And it gives me a leg up. So it's sort of just makes you stand out. Yeah. And I think that that's the, 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 the wildest thing to me is that once you actually get into the world of business, like business is more than just entrepreneurship and like it's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's whether it you everywhere. like art, whether you like dancing, whether you like cooking, like business is everything. Like money makes the world go round, you know, and it's crazy. Like yep. once you really start putting those aspects in your everyday life, it really does have such a huge, I do that even in friendships and we're like, what are you, what's the return on investment in this? Like, why am I investing my time into people? Yeah. And my, my friends make fun of me all the time. You're like, okay, tone it down. And I'm yeah. just like, no, like, I, it really I is about that. I do the same that. thing. I literally <laughs> just think about things in a business, like, as business set of eyes. And my friends are like, what? Yeah. Are you, like, why does it have to be that deep? I'm like, that's just how I think now. I don't know. I can't control it. <laughs> you see, but Nifty has changed your mindset. That's it does. the goal. <laughs> and it's for the good, too. It's not it, like it's not like a bad thing that I have a business set of eyes. Like, it's, yeah. it's great, and it helps me in everything I do. So It absolutely does. I do it. It has a lot to do with that of, like, what really inspires you. And I think that, you know, I'm an alumni. I'm a much older alumni. But I think that that was the concept, too, of, like, learning about opportunities, about really putting yourself out there. And it's more more about not just teaching about business and like starting it but like the financial literacy aspect of it the yep. economics of one unit be like independent like padding and like properties and individuals and all of that and so that's really cool i'm glad that you know you took that away and so much more um i know that you're currently working on a couple of like really yeah. cool things yeah. like is there any sneak peeks that we can have yeah, for, um, for your project so Essentially, what I'm doing right now is I'm building my social media profiles on multiple platforms. I'm sort of building like a foundation for myself to where I can then build my business on top of. Okay. So, you I, are the brand. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that, that's exactly. I'm building my personal brand and um, gaining my own knowledge in social media firsthand so that I can then build my business on top of that in the future. Um, and I've been doing YouTube for almost three years now and it's some, it's the best thing in the world. Like I've slowly been gaining an audience and every day I get messages, people saying that they love my videos. And it's not to brag, it's just to say like, You're creating it just impact. motivates yeah, me to keep you going. Are, like, and like if you do something for long enough and you just make sure that every time you do it, it gets better, that's gonna happen and you're just gonna, like I'm literally just chasing what I love right now. And um, shout out, if you want to go check out my YouTube, it's just my name. It's Josh Kruger, J-O-S-H-K-R-E-U-G-E-R. -E -E and we'll Instagram. totally put it on the link and on the description yeah. so that you can all go follow him. Instagram, yeah. TikTok, <laughs> everything. But YouTube is my pride and joy. Um, but So what I'm doing specifically on YouTube right now is actually in August, um, I started a course called Creator Now. And it's essentially just a community slash workshop space and just place to collaborate with other creators and learn exactly what content creation is about and how to do it yourself. Um, and that, just like Nifty did uh, two years ago when I started it, it lit a fire in me to just chase exactly what I want. And it just, it, 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 I had tunnel vision on exactly what I wanted. <laughs> so um, in August I started a series on my YouTube channel where I trade from a rubber band into a car. Um, and Long story short, I did trade into the car, and uh, it's here actually, but essentially I did five videos where I trade rubber band, trade, 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 just keep trading until mm -hmm. I get to the car. And then I sold that car, bought a truck, and the whole goal the whole time was to customize it for a YouTuber that's actually out here in LA. So I customized it all around his company, and um, that's why I'm here. I brought it to him, and he loved it, and we made a whole video about it. And so the fi finale of that Oh video, my god, we're totally going to link it, and we're <laughs> also going to show the car, because that is so cool. Yeah. And it's the concept Thank of you. that, right? Of, of like the content creating, but like you said, you're merging the business world aspect it of is. it, it into what you really do in your everyday so wow. yeah and people might be wondering like how does nifty translate into like trading a rubber band into a car and making videos about it it's more of just like the bigger picture about it. it's so, like every video i try to have sort of like a lesson or like you know emotional roller coaster of showing exactly how i got there and it's sort of the idea behind it is to just show people that like you can start with nothing and end up with something crazy oh my gosh. um and 
in the end, this is building my social media platforms. And not only am I really passionate about that, and I love that so much, but it's also going to help me launch my business in the future. So. And inspire people. Yeah. Because I think that, that, that it's really crazy to me where when I was younger, you know, I would think, what does an entrepreneur look like? And I think mm -hmm. that that's what a lot of, like, our nifty lessons really start. Like, when you think of, like, an entrepreneur, yep. who do you think of? It and for a really so long time, forms. I thought it's like, oh, like, the white man in like the suit and stuff like that, that and, and like, like yeah that's that trademark like like, yeah. like uh wall street and that's really that, where my yeah. mind went and now i'm just like now people ask me like what does an entrepreneur look like it looks like our middle school students it looks like our high school students it looks like our teachers it looks yep. like my parents it looks like our grandparents and i think that that's a beautiful thing of social media that there's so many age ranges of you know from young to like older generation that are really creating an impact and it's so great that you're inspiring people you're Thank sharing you. your story um and with that you know like we're gonna wrap it up but who are you most grateful for who has yeah. inspired you because with this video and with everything that you're doing you're an inspiration to others and we're definitely going to be sharing this video to like our middle school and like our Thank younger you. students but who has inspired you who has been that uh that inspiration or the moment that you really show gratitude to yeah, I mean, of course, it's my immediate family. Like, my parents, of course, they've been supportive through everything, and it's not easy to support something whenever I'm trying to start from, like, doing nothing to, like, I'm just building something and taking a path that most people wouldn't take. So it's it would be usually hard for people to support that because it's hard to see the vision. Yeah. But they supported me uh, 110% the whole time. And, of course, both my brothers as well, Adam and Brad, just uh, they've supported me the whole time as well and always say great video or like I'm so proud of you things like that just little things like that um, and then also just all the content creators that I've met in the past not even eight months I mean I went to like a YouTube convention and met you know like probably a thousand people and saved contacts and made lifelong friends and also just like the men the mentors that I have in this space um, especially the people of creator now too and then Obviously, people like you guys, people, <laughs> the people at Nifty that reach out to me and just want to talk to me. And yes. that just gives me a platform to like tell my story, and it's so inspiring. And of course, just everybody at Nifty as well. Like all Aww. the, you know, like Scott and Lauren and, and JD and everything. Everyone was behind the pictures, yeah. and I think that even as when I came as an alumni, and I was like, oh my god, I'm so grateful for, yes, my teacher, but I think that even, like, at my that teacher. time, the executive director, <laughs> like, Estelle, or, like, people that I worked with, like, Kenny and Kim and Bracey and, like, all of these people, like, it really is those people that work behind the scenes that not everybody gets to, like, see or meet, um, yeah. but they're really the program managers of everything that, like, runs it, and without them, I think that Nifty wouldn't be what we are it really does take a village y'all <laughs> but thank you so much for being yeah, here with you. us thank you so much for sharing your content you know inspiring our next generation of young entrepreneurs but where can we follow you where can we stay connected yeah. uh throw out your handles so and we'll be linking everything we've got youtube is josh kruger it's j-o-s-h-k-r-e-u-g-e-r and my instagram is j-o-s-h-k-r-e-u-g-z josh krugs and then my TikTok is also the same as my YouTube. And also, I forgot to shout out my girlfriend. Thank you for supporting me through everything. Oh, how cute. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. That is a wrap. Join us next time for another incredible interview. And you know, we're starting it up. We come here with fire and we're here to really ignite the entrepreneurial mindset. Thank y'all.